I want to say something about Bernie Sanders. Now, before I get into it, I love Bernie Sanders. I think he has the best policies. Out of all the candidates, he has the best policies. And not Joe Biden, not Elizabeth Warren, but she's not in the race anymore, not Harris, Klobuchar, Buttigieg, any of those other establishment kind of centrist column, you will, uh, candidates. These uh, corporate candidates. Now, Bernie Sanders. Love him, but he has an issue. An issue that really, really bothers me. And the only reason I'm really criticizing Bernie is because I really want him to win. At this point, I don't think he's going to win. Because I don't know if he's ready to be president. And here's why. Now, Bernie Sanders has a lot of good things about him, but one of his flaws, from my perspective, is he always seems to call these piece of shit candidates his colleagues, his friends. Look, I like Joe Biden. He's a good friend of mine. Look, I like Elizabeth Warren. She's a very good friend of mine. Look, I like Hillary Clinton. She's a good friend of mine. Like, Bernie needs to stop calling these establishment candidates his friends. Right now, Joe Biden might very well be the nominee of the Democratic Party. And that upsets me. Not only because I don't like him and I refuse to vote for either Trump or... I don't like Trump, but I don't like Joe Biden. So why is Joe Biden entitled to my vote? Why do I have to fall in line and vote for someone just because they're better than Trump? I don't believe Joe Biden is that much better than Trump. You want to call a shit sandwich better than Trump? Fine. But if you put guacamole on a shit sandwich, I don't want to eat it more than the shit sandwich without guacamole. I don't want to vote for Joe Biden just because he's better or he's a Democrat or he he's a he's in the blue party with a D next to his name. I'm not voting for someone based on identity politics. Unlike all these people who would stand outside of a Bernie Sanders rally and chant it's time for a woman in the White House. It's time. It's time. You want to, If you're a single-issue voter, and that's your problem, people aren't going to vote for Bernie who are like that because he has an old, white, hairy scrotum. So they're not going to vote for Bernie Sanders. You're not going to get those types of people. But these same people, will they then turn around and vote for another old, white guy? Except in this case, you're voting for Joe Biden, who, if you want to play identity politics, he's not Jewish. So are you anti-Semitic if you don't want to vote for Bernie, just like you're anti-Semitic if you didn't want to vote for Hillary? Uh, excuse me, you're sexist if you didn't want to vote for Hillary. You're sexist if you don't, and I guess they would also play racist, if you don't want to vote for Elizabeth Warren. Racist because uh, she claimed to have Native American ancestry, which maybe she had one, but the bitch looks white. It's not sexist to not want to vote for someone who happens to be the opposite gender that you are. It's sexist if you don't want to vote for them because they're a woman. I did not want to vote for Hillary Clinton or Elizabeth Warren or fucking Kamala Harris or bitch Amy Klobuchar. Just because they had a vagina. I don't care about their vagina. What I cared about was the policies and agenda that they pushed. These people did not care about Medicare for All. They don't give a shit about redistributing wealth to poor people. They care about corporate welfare, corporate socialism, and giving so and giving and providing socialist parties for the rich and elite they don't care about socialist parties for poor people because poor people outnumber rich people 
poor people make up the working industries. People who work in the serving and the, the serving industry. These people create the infrastructure of our fragile system, which is now grinding to a crash during a global pandemic, which we are completely and utterly unprepared for. You want to blame Trump for that? Okay, fine. You can lay a little bit of blame on Trump's uh, doorstep for us not really being prepared for a global pandemic. But what is Joe Biden doing right now? Hiding. His campaign is keeping him out of the limelight and away from video cameras for as much as they can during this crisis. Meanwhile, Bernie is actually trying to make sure that more people don't die because we're woefully unprepared for a global pandemic. I don't believe that Joe Biden is going to make things so much better. Should I vote for regression, Trump? Or should I vote for stagnation, Joe Biden? Hmm, which is a better choice, regression or stagnation? How about neither? How about actual fucking progression? How about I actually have policy, uh, vote with principles and values? People, I've, I've heard people say to me, or, or I've read, more like, via social media, Facebook, whatnot, what have you, oh, what, I, what are we without our values? Alive. Well, I don't like being alive very much, so wh that does, that's not an argument for me. Why am I, why should I just vote? For, for, in, in, furthermore, our country is not going to be worse for the wear than it already fucking is with another four years of Trump. I don't believe that. It might cause more infighting and destruction of the Democratic Party, but people already trust the Republican Party more. A Gallup polls will prove this to you, that there is more favorability and support behind Trump and the Republicans than there are with Democrats right now. Now, you might be hiding in your little Democratic bubble if you're, you know, to the left and you, you view that, oh, we just need to get Trump out. Well, okay, then what? All right, get Trump out, then what? Then what do you do? This idea that we need to keep voting for the lesser of two evils is ridiculous. And what saddens me, and what's so unfortunate, is that Bernie fucking Sanders himself was asked, what was it, in a CNN interview, MSNBC, I can't remember, that he was asked, do you think uh, Joe Biden could defeat Trump? Well, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Either Bernie Sanders truly believes that and he's deluded or or he's deluded and just holds out hope in the mirror and has any the, the little the littlest amount of faith in a candidate like Joe Biden who not only is a fucking sexual harasser hair sniffer and I'm just just talking about this uh recent uh sexual assault allegation I'm going back a, co a few years, because I already knew that Joe Biden was a creep sniffing on uh, little kids and women's hair. There, there's video and photographic images of women being uncomfortable while he's, like, getting all up on them. I grab people by the shoulders and I say, uh, you can do it. Like, you can do this. No, you don't. You grab them by the shoulders and you go, <sighs> that's what you do. Joe Biden. But not only that, not only are you a creep, you're a creep who's losing his fucking mind. You can't string a sentence together without a teleprompter. And your campaign knows this, and they're hiding you. You should be in a fucking nursing home, not president. Especially when, just recently, you're coming out and talking about a potential running mate or vice president pick that they might, uh, better be willing to be presidents, uh, be a pres- be the president, you know, in, you know, if something bad happens to me. Well, what, what, what's gonna happen to you? Are you gonna shit yourself and then have a heart attack? And then you're not gonna have people around to change your diaper? And then you just keel over from the stink and the dead heart? And then your mind, you're not gonna remember where you are? In the middle of a crisis? People rally around a leader. 
And even though Trump is fucking horrendous, especially during a fucking global pandemic, how is a man, a vulnerable adult, who, this is akin to elder abuse, with what the establishment is putting Joe Biden through, making him run when he really shouldn't be running, or Joe Biden actually is deluded to the point to where he actually just wants to run just to be president, and he thinks he's going to do any better. This guy? You're going to rally behind Joe fucking Biden, who should be in a fucking nursing home right now. Or... This guy, you want this guy to be in charge during a global pandemic for the next four years. I don't know how many people are going to die from this, but it's estimated that it's going to be hundreds of thousands in the best case scenario. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to die. Millions are going to die from this super flu that Trump is so now keen on calling the Chinese flu. You know... <sighs> It just saddens me that Bernie Sanders is not truly ready to be president, especially when he's going out there and saying shit like, I think Joe Biden could defeat Trump. Really? We already saw this experiment. Really? You want to keep calling these people your friends? Why? You know, in, from my, in my view, friends don't talk shit about you. Friends don't lie about you and make up shit because they just want to defeat you. Hmm? Friends don't just hate you regardless of what you do. Bernie Sanders calls Hillary Clinton his friend, a very good friend of mine. Meanwhile, the bitch goes on, what was it, Howard Stern's show and talks shit about him? Oh, uh, nobody really likes Bernie, and nobody likes working with him, and I think he has an attitude problem, and blah blah blah. He didn't do enough for me, you know, in 2016, even though he, uh, endorsed me and started campaigning for me in the states that I wouldn't fucking set foot in. Um, nobody likes him. Yeah, I like you. You're a very good friend of mine. You know what, Bernie? I wish you'd be more fucking, not only just grumpy and angry, which... You have this, you have this reputation for being grumpy. Pfft, fuck off. You know what grumpy is? You, it would be grumpy as if when Bernie Sanders was standing on stage with Joe Biden asking him about his literal fucking record about going on the Senate floor and talking about doing away with uh, Social Security and Medicare. We have to put these things on the table, i.e., a.k.a., we need to talk about cutting them. Mm. Did you talk about cutting Social Security? No, I did not. Look, Joe Biden, I like you. You're a very good friend of mine, but you're a lying piece of shit. You know what? How did Trump get elected? When he breached decorum and was so rude and said naughty words and was mean to people. Oh, we got to get him out. But Bernie, don't you dare start going being mean to people. Okay, Bernie Sanders can be mean to people and not win presidency, but Trump was mean to people, and he won. Trump talks shit on people all the fucking time, and he's president. Not these uh, pearl-clutching fuckers in these elite democratic establishment who are so worried about decorum and manners and being... Uh, nice, you know, feigning, feigning concern and nice. Good friends of yours don't talk shit about you and lie about you. Like Elizabeth Warren, I think Bernie Sanders is racist. Why? Because he said a woman can't be president. Why'd you drop out, Elizabeth? Do you think a woman can't be president? Are you sexist, Elizabeth Warren, because you dropped out? No, you know what Bernie Sanders probably said to her is because of sexism, he doesn't think a woman can be president right now. Well, go why, way to go and prove him right. No, it's all the Bernie bros. It's our fault because it's the voters' fault because we don't want to vote for a piece of shit like you. 
it's our fault. It's the voters' fault for the state of the country. Not the fact that these two parties, which are actually just one party, but these two parties keep giving us crappy, shitty choices. And if we don't want to vote for them, well then we're the problem. Really? Is that how it works? Oh, it works that the voters are responsible for cutting things like Social Security and Medicare and, uh, you know, you know, children at the border. We gotta get Trump out. Why? Children at the border. How about that one? Well, Obama deported more people than any president in history. He was putting kids in cages just like fucking Trump is doing right now. So, how is Joe Biden or Trump even so much better than Obama? Two times Obama supporters s voted for Trump. Why? Because they cared about their jobs. He, and he lied about it, and he didn't make good on his promise. He outsourced the second he was president. He's like, no more outsourcing. He went to the Rust Belt. Uh, I'm not going to outsource. You're not going to lose your jobs anymore to China. I'm going to get you your jobs back. We're going to rebuild these factories. You're going to have jobs. Your, your livelihood is coming back. I'm going to bring that to you. And again, he lied. But people heard that and was like, hmm, I like him. He seems like a Molotov I could throw at the establishment because these motherfuckers keep outsourcing all these jobs and cutting regulations. Oh, well, maybe Trump drained the swamp and he found his own swamp monsters at the bottom. But Joe Biden is not better than Trump by any stretch of the imagination. Why? Bernie Sanders was marching with Martin Luther King during the civil rights era for civil rights and was arrested simultaneously during that time. Joe Biden was very good friends with racists and segregationists who were voting against busing desegregation and Joe himself voted against busing desegregation. So tell me again, is it only because of racism that Trump got elected? Maybe it's because of racism and sexism that Joe Biden got elected. How about that? How about the fact that Bernie Sanders already knows who would be his running mate? Or, quite potentially, I think he would put Nina Turner, the first w female black vice president. How about that one for identity politics? The first Jewish president and the first black female vice president. How's that? Hmm? Uh, Joe Biden. I'm Joe Biden. Um, can't, uh, d d d put the record player on. Put a record on. Oh, 45s. It just, it saddens me. It upsets me to know that Bernie Sanders is not ready to be president. And I don't think he's going to win. I think this whole, it's, it, I think it's all going out the window. I think it's going out the window with Joe Biden. And if you really believe that nominating Joe Biden is a good choice against Donald Trump, if Joe Biden is Hillary 2.0, then he's going to fail 2.0 times harder than Trump. Because guess what? If you go search some polls, and I understand, polls aren't everything, okay? But they're little pieces of data hmm? that support one thing or the other. And they suggest that Joe Biden is not going to be president. People trust Trump more unfortunately I'm not going to vote for Trump and I don't want to vote for Joe Biden and you can't make me vote for someone and then tell me that because I didn't vote for your candidate there go it's a vote for the other candidate this isn't a race just between two people it doesn't have to be a race between two parties there is a Green Party and if more people if they were given a platform, if they were given the chance to debate, if they were given actual news coverage, the mainstream fucking media, not, not 
just CNN and MSNBC, but Fox News as well. They're all prop arms of propaganda of the business party. The business party consists of Republicans and Democrats. And guess what the business party cares about? Tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires and bailouts for these huge multi-trillion dollar companies. Yeah, okay, let's get Trump out of office. And then what? And then what? Well, I'd like to think that Joe Biden uh, has some sense to put a good team together to get things done. Would you like to believe that, or is there just it, it, is there just absolute proof that he would do that? Would he put a few cr uh, breadcrumbs here and there so that we don't starve to death? Would he would he hire back some of these? people would he would he fund the CDC and NIH more would he you know does he actually believe in medicare for all this this whole coronavirus thing this whole super flu how about i just start calling it a new name trump how about i just start calling it the super flu how about this coronavirus is the perfect example and the, the, for the reason why we need Medicare for all, so that people don't go bankrupt simply because they got sick. Because women, the, a woman who was recently charged, what was it, like 34 grand for corona treatment? This is why Bernie Sanders should be president, because he actually has good policies. Because he believes in the things he says. He believes in Medicare for all. And don't ask me for the 30 trillionth time how we're going to fucking pay for it. When we spent, what was it, 14 trillion dollars in Iraq? Somewhere along there? Along those lines? How much money do we spend on war every fucking day? But how are we going to pay for giving people health care? Well, not only just the amount of money we spend per second on our foreign policy of war and death, but a Wall Street transaction tax. How about that? How about these fucks who bankrupted the country, or the company, as it that were, that Freudian slip? Back in 2008, during the subprime mortgage crisis, and the... How about these people who f who looted the treasury to begin with how about we take that money back and give it back to the people because these are pirates we're talking about these are pirates in charge of our nation full-fledged gangsters wearing suits and ties they are an actual mafia as are the insurance companies because they get wealthy off of people <laughs> needing health care how is that fair Bernie Sanders is the only one who would change that. Joe Biden himself, nothing will fundamentally change. He said that. I will fundamentally change nothing. His words, not mine. I'm not putting those in his mouth. Joe Biden said he would, nothing would fundamentally change. To a room full of executives and fucking millionaires. Joe Biden, I was ready to prostitute myself to the big, uh, big moneyed interests. But they said, come back when you're 40. He went back when he was 40. And guess what? He caved to all these special interests. Joe Biden is not a good choice over Bernie Sanders. And people who think this, they're just going to keep driving our country further and further into regression. And the state of decay that it already is in. They're just gonna dig a deeper hole. Is America ready to learn a lesson? 
I don't think we are. I'm a bit of a cynic, a bit of a pessimist. And, uh, we're not ready. We're not ready to learn, learn our lesson. We're not ready to actually put someone in charge who will make things better. We're not ready. Especially if the man who we choose himself thinks that his fucking opponent is willing to say that his opponent. Yeah, I think he could beat Trump. How about no? How about you actually tell the fucking truth, Bernie, and say that, No, I don't think Joe Biden is, uh, could beat Trump. I think I'm the only one who can beat Trump, and I'll give you the reasons here. He couldn't do that. I'm not voting for Joe Biden. I'm not doing it. Because I'm not going to have my vote forced for anyone that somebody else wants me to vote for. I'm not going to vote for somebody else. I'm going to vote for my own interests, for my own values and beliefs. I'm fucking principled. And my principles don't tell me that Joe Biden is such an extraordinarily better choice than Trump. That is a false notion. Fine. Go ahead and vote for Joe. But you've been warned? Joe Biden? will lose to Trump. Bernie Sanders would not have lost to Trump. And history will prove it. And the only good thing that could have ever happened to Joe Biden is a global pandemic and an economic crash. If people really tend to favor Joe Biden more than they favor Trump, well then it's already decided. But my single vote and my girlfriend's vote, our two votes, wouldn't have altered the outcome of the 2016 election, and they're not going to completely alter the outcome of this new election. You reap what you sow, and if you put Joe Biden as your, your nominee, well, I'm sorry to say, but you're getting sacked.